getting back to, I was about to show you guys drone footage, overhead drone footage uh, from the gray zone and of, of what Gaza looks like right now that we got from um, a Palestinian journalist there, independent. So, right. Let's go there. Yeah. This is what remains of the Alzara neighborhood southeast of Gaza City. This drone footage shows you what it looks like after days and days of Israeli bombardment. To be sure, this is just a small slice of the destruction Israel has wrought on the northern Gaza Strip, where 1.1 million people have lived and where some 60,000 residential structures have been completely or partially destroyed. Jesus. There's nowhere to live here. Yeah, no Bro, running water, that's... no electricity, and no heating as the rainy winter season approaches. And the Israeli military has vowed to shoot anyone who attempts to return home, declaring the area a closed military zone. Israel has killed over 8,000 children and women in the Gaza Strip, since war erupted on October 7th. Not even war. It's a massacre. When Dude. this footage was taken during a temporary ceasefire in late even... November, Israel had killed a total of oh, around 15,000 civilians. Like, you've got, just in this shot alone, which it zoomed out, there were more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten buildings leveled. Pretty big buildings just destroyed, brought to rubble. Yeah, each of those look like an apartment. An apartment averaged two to three people per. Mm. I mean, per easily thousands, hundred to five hundred people, and just this shot alone could be not with us. Thousands more are missing under the rubble. According yeah, to the New York Times, get. the rate of death during Israel's assault yeah. has few. I mean, look at that. Yeah, two, four, One, six, two, three, four, five, eight, six, seven, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, just in this shot. Yeah. Plus, you got this building yeah. is standing. You got a few buildings that are standing around it, but not much. Right, but that's your average per, hold on, one, two, I'm counting rooms. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by three times three precedents uh, in this century as civilians are being killed at a easy. historic pace iraq body count an independent british group found that more children and women have been reported killed in under two months than the 7700 civilians killed by u.s and uk forces during the first year of the invasion of iraq in 2003. The Euromed Human Rights Monitor found that during the first week of conflict, Israel killed 14 civilians per hour, transforming vast swaths of the besieged Gaza Strip into uninhabitable hell holes. Israeli Heritage Minister Amichai Eliyahu has said that one way of dealing with Gaza's population was to kill them all with a nuclear bomb. By late November, Israel had dropped over 40,000 tons of explosives on the densely populated Gaza Strip, far more than the equivalent of a single 20 kiloton nuclear bomb. The footage that you see was taken during a ceasefire. According to Politico, there was some concern in the Biden administration about an unintended consequence of the pause in fighting that it would yeah, allow journalists buildings, broader access to Gaza and the opportunity to further illuminate the devastation there and turn public opinion on Israel. So far, foreign journalists have been blocked from receiving unfettered access to the Gaza Strip. This footage was provided to the Gray Zone exclusively by Gaza-based journalist Mohammed El Saif. Don't look away. Those are clearly apartments. Yeah. <clears throat> That's heartbreaking. Fourth grade zone. Mm -hmm. Support independent media. 
And like, did you see in any of that footage, did you see any military presence in those buildings? They don't need any. No, but I'm I'm not saying they do, but I'm saying that's what they're going to claim is that they were attacking for military targets. Well, no, I didn't they... see a single sign of military presence in those buildings anywhere. Well, not now. They've cleared like, everything and they've cleared the area and abandoned ship. Yeah, but I'm saying right, but I'm saying with in those buildings, like there was there was tons of rubble and signs of life and uh, you know, beds and blankets and kitchen appliance and I, I didn't see any you know ammo cases rifles well no like, that's that's all in the tunnels man don't uh, you, you know? know don't you know mortars oh man like i didn't see any of that to think that if there was any terrorist cells there there would be clear evidence of that we're going right again you know oh, man. like this is the, the buildings are leveled